Dude, did you hear the news? Brad and Angelina broke up, man. Yeah, poor, well, wow. That's, <laughs> you're, that's a big one to pour out. Jesus. One for Brad and one for Angelina. Yeah, man. You're feeling really down in the dumps about this. I might have to leave. Yeah, I would, except there's nowhere really to go in here. <laughs> yeah, man, 2016 has not been a good year for celebrity relationships. Started out with some lemonade that was a little bitter, if you <laughs> ask me. And then Brangelina breaking up only a couple days ago. What man, do we believe in anymore? I don't know, man. So we have compiled a list of celebrity relationships that we would like to see. Kendrick Lamar and Anna Kendrick. How about a little Jack Black and Jack White? Bonus Jonas and Eleven from Stranger Things, both under the age of 18. I see your minors and I raise you with Jonathan and Drew Scott, <laughs> aka the Property Brothers. <laughs> Caitlyn Jenner and Chaz Bono. <laughs> I see your Chaz Bono and I raise you a Bono and Joseph Coney. <laughs> <laughs> Edward Snowden and Joseph Gordon-Levitt. Same okay. dude. Okay. Same dude, you know? Okay. How about a little Casey and JoJo? <laughs> I like that. That's a good one. Joel Osteen and Black China. <laughs> Flo the Progressive Lady. And Lily from the AT&T commercials. Oh, yes. I was up for some fan fiction. Yes. Mr. Clean and Mrs. Buttersworth. Uncle Cracker and Chuck E. Cheese. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. Rachel Ray and Guy Fieri. We'll talk about flavor. Yeah. That's some, tasty, my man. Throw some donkey sauce on that. That's tasty, my man. Oh, the, slathered. The flavors in Flavortown are a cooking <laughs> on that one. <laughs> that is definitely a power couple made for Flavortown. Dude, uh, well, just a batch in the cookbook. I mean, the cookbook oh, itself yeah. would be freaking phenomenal. Yeah. How about Harry Potter and Hermione Granger? Oh. Dude, I mean, is there a bigger oversight in fiction's history than not having those two end up together? Dude. Talk about a power couple. Oh my god. Because instead they gave Harry freaking Ginny. Uh, the this, fucking dumb shit who got whoa. captured by the Basilisk in the Chamber of Secrets. Dude. And we know just as well as anybody at home that freaking Hermione had the hots for Harry yeah. the whole time. Dude. And she only settled for Ron because Harry wasn't feeling it. Harry was with Cho Chang. Yeah. Then he was with Ginny. Yep. Such a major oversight. I think JJ or JJ uh, JK Rowling even came out and said that it was a something that they should have gotten together at the end. But you know, I did a little googling, oh. a little investigative reporting, yeah. and uh, you heard it here first. I think this might have gotten flagged at the NSA for being the dorkiest Google search of all time. <laughs> but I looked up their Patronuses because did you see online today <laughs> the Find Your Patronus? No, I didn't. Okay. Anyway. So, Harry's was a stag. Uh, what a stud. <laughs> and her, Love it. And Hermione's was an otter. Can you imagine a sexier combo in the what animal kingdom? What a Patronus, man. The otter and the stag just going at it. What a hell of a Patronus. <laughs> that just is fantastic. Really, it is. I mean, I'm getting hot right now just thinking about it. <laughs> I know, man. I'm taking this <laughs> Ow! flannel off because these Patronuses are getting over the top. I'm feeling the magic. <laughs> How about this for a celebrity relationship? Mm -hmm. Ellen DeGeneres in this guy. <laughs> <laughs> the celebrity lookalike, man. We're that, gonna, that'd be pretty good. That kind of is at odds with the opposites attract thing, but I think <laughs> I think we can make it work. I think you guys can totally make it work. Listen, she's dabbled with men before. Mm -hmm. She wasn't always openly lesbian. And so if she ever wanted to go back for whatever reason, I think I'd be a good transition for her. I gotta think so too. I'm pretty sure the people at home would agree with that. <laughs> Let us know if you'd like to see that. And I Talk in the comments and say, yeah, I want to see that. I could use the extra bucks too. <laughs> She's rich as hell. <laughs> as soon as we get married, I'm out of here. Try, we wouldn't have to ask for donations anymore. <laughs> You're doing a YouTube channel all by yourself, man. <laughs> Alright, this is gonna be the celebrity couple that's gonna save us all mm -hmm. because it's gonna start out early and it's gonna last forever mm -hmm. we're talking the boy who got harambe killed and riley curry <laughs> <laughs> oh i man. think they should get together right now they should stay together forever the internet would explode dude <laughs> there would be no more internet you guys would never be able to watch us ever again because no. the internet would be Gone. It would be like putting an atom bomb on the internet and letting oh. it, watching it just burn to the ground. Those are our picks. Let us know who you want to see. And uh, we went through a bunch of different relationships in the front. If you have like a cute little name like Brangelina for any of the ones, any of your favorites, let us know in the comments. Just write it in the comments. Like Joseph Gordon-Levitt and uh, Edward Snowden equals Joe Snow, or you know something more creative than that. John Snow. John Snow. Yeah. And put it in and put it in the comments. Yeah, absolutely. Drop it in the comments. 
Uh, let us know what you guys think, and we will see you guys very soon. Like and subscribe the shit out of us. Yeah, do that too. Late. <laughs> I can't go anywhere. This is... <laughs> this is...